I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and I'm here in IHC's mining laboratory on behalf of Heavy Minerals and we're going to show you how you take sand and turn it into garnet. Everybody, I'm here with Mitch Ryan, the senior metallurgist at IHC Mining. Mitch, that was a lot of fun, but we probably should go get down to business and show everybody how it's done. All right, let's go. So behind us we've got some gravity separators called spiral separators and they separate uh, mineral based on their density. Typically it's up the front of the process where you're looking to reduce your mass as quickly as possible so you're not pumping large amounts of mass throughout your whole circuit. But the mass that we're targeting to uh, extract from the ore is the valuable content of the ore. Uh, and so these spirals separate by density separation and it is the denser particles that are the valuable mineral that we're looking for here. Typically after here they, the material would be dried and go on to magnetic separators. So at IHC Mining here we do bulk scale test work. So that's anything ranging from 50 kilograms up to about 50 tonnes. Uh, and so we have full scale mining equipment here to help us get through that. So behind us here we've got another uh, spiral separator which is performing a gravity concentration. So we're taking the, the ore and producing a heavy mineral concentrate which is where all the garnet and the ilmenite sits. So this is a MG6 spiral, it's manufactured here on the Gold Coast um, and we've, we've compared a few different spiral models on this material and we found that this is the best option. Well we're looking at a full scale piece of equipment here, so that is the full size spiral but in operation there would be many, many more of those. So you can actually get three spirals wrapped around the one pole and then on a single deck you can get up to 12 of those triple start spirals. So the spiral separator is separating by density and using a bit of a uh, centrifugal force it throws lighter material out to the outside of the spiral and so on the outside down the bottom here we're collecting a tailings material and on the inside that's where all the, the heavy denser material held, is held up and we'll collect a concentrate there and that just so happens to be the valuable mineral that we're looking for here. So the water's really just to suspend and transport material. So typically these will run at about 30 to 35% solids. If you can increase the solids percent there, you're saving on pumping costs. So that's always something we consider here as well. Now Mitch is about to take me through one of the second cool machines we're going to see today and this is the magnetic separator. Now it was just whirring in the background before and I actually saw really two like two cool streams of different coloured sand coming out. So where does this fit in the process and what was it that I was actually witnessing? Yeah so this is a uh, magnetic separator, it's a rare earth drum separator. So this is usually after the, the first gravity concentration stage that we saw before. Uh, and this is particularly effective on garnet sand because you've got um, three distinct bands of minerals with varying uh, magnetic susceptibility that we can use to uh, extract the garnet from, from the ore. All right, so that's how it separates it, but you've actually got three buckets down below. What goes in each of these three buckets? So essentially we end up with a magnetic product which contains our ilmenite mineral. We have a, a middlings material, which is where all the, the garnet is. And then we have a non-magnetics uh, stream, which is usually in the reject stream. All right, Mitch, we've got three different buckets of different coloured sand in each of these. Talk me through what we've got in here. Yeah, that's right. So we've got the, uh, the magnetic fraction here on the, on the right, yeah. which is uh, usually our ilmenite stream. And then in the middle here, as you saw, it's a nice ruby coloured garnet. And then on this side here, you can grab a handful. That's our non-magnetic stream, oh. which is uh, unfortunately usually the, the rejects. So I get the waste stuff. That's right. And not the precious stuff. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't feel like getting my shoes wet today, but I am now standing in front of the wet gravity separation table. Now this is pretty cool, and this is where the company starts to assess how the particles are going to work in simulation into the spiral machine, which I'll show you in a sec. As you can see behind me, there's a couple of little streams coming out of different colours, and what they do is they assess what the particles are going to look like when it finally runs through that beast over there. We're probably now in the hottest but also coolest room in IHC's laboratory. Why is this room so hot, Mitch? Because it's a bit stifling. So this is our heavy liquid separation laboratory. So we use a dense medium to separate uh, particles into um, more dense or less dense, essentially. This is the uh, liquid that we use to do so, and it needs to be regulated at a minimum of uh, 25 degrees Celsius. So this, this liquid operates at about 2.85 uh, specific gravity. So this uh, one litre here is about almost three kilos. So, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Whoa, 
it's surprisingly heavy for what it is. It doesn't look that dense. No, that's it. But what it allows us to do is to uh, sort of analyse a small uh, portion of our ore body. So rather than processing a, a tonne or more, we can take a small representative sample and find out roughly how much uh, heavy mineral is uh, in that ore that we're targeting. Now, as I said, what's super cool about the hottest room in this whole laboratory is the fact that this whole thing can be packed up and put in a shipping container and sent out on site, can't it? That's right, so IHC Mining manufacture and, and sell these uh, mobile LST labs, so heavy liquid separation labs. So yeah, it's essentially a, a turnkey product that turns up at your mine site and it's um, yeah, ready to operate. All right, so we've been on a little bit of a tour of what's happening here in the laboratory, and I've seen some really cool machines, but what's the final product that we get to hold in our hands at the end of the day? So right here we've got the final garnet product. Oh, cool. So you can see the nice pink colour there and the coarse grain texture. So I find it fascinating to think that we've extracted that from something like this, which is the starting ore for the heavy minerals project. But there's no even traces of pink in this. Yeah, correct. So within this sample, it's probably in the order of about 3% garnet. That's incredible. Also true, that's got some heft to it. Can I hold that? It does, yeah. It's oh quite wow, dense. that's a lot heavier than that. Yeah, that's right. What about the ilmenite you're able to pull from the sample? Yeah, sure. So this is it here. So again, it's a nice dense and uh, dark coloured product here. Oh wow, it's so shiny and fine. And so this is what comes out after it's gone through all of this machinery. This is the finished product. Correct. That's super cool. Andrew Taplin, CEO of Heavy Minerals. How are you? Good, thanks, Shay. Now, you have got in your hot little hand there the commodity that we're trying to extract out of this laboratory. Talk me through it. What is in your hand? This is what it's all about. This is the highest quality alluvial garnet available to industry, and we are on track to be producing this at the Port Gregory mine just north of Geraldton by 2027. This particular product here, which is a coarse material, we use for abrasive. Uh, blasting of surfaces before coatings are applied and we'll also have a smaller particle size which will be used for high pressure water jet cutting. Now an important part of this story isn't actually just the garnet that I'm holding in my hot little hand which I'm just going to scooch back there. It's actually this pallet of water. Now this water I believe has been shipped all the way from WA to as I said where we are in Queensland. Why do that? Why go to all that effort? It's important that what we're doing in the lab represents what we're ultimately going to be doing on um, site. And the equipment that you've seen IHC mining uh, use in the lab is representative of the equipment that we'll be ultimately um, using. Um, but the water's equally as important. So we went to great lengths to sample um, several hundreds of uh, litres, collect several hundred litres of uh, water and transport it over here for use in the lab. We're going to all, all the extra lengths to make sure that we um, can produce the highest quality um, garnet available to, uh, to industry and this is just part of it. That brings today's tour of the laboratory to a close. Now make sure you're following mining.com.au on all the important socials and of course you're going to want to see what happens because we didn't cover what this bad boy does. But when heavy minerals is up at scale, it's going to be super important. See you then.